In this guide, I want to walk through a common error that I've seen quite a few students and developers run into when they're setting up their configuration for Postgres and connecting that to Rails. Right here, this is in reference to a student question where it says that they got an error that says gem extension build error, uh, build, failed to build gem native extension, and then it gives a kind of confusing error message. The key here that you want to look at is where it says to try this, to add with PG config and then a path to the PG config file. Now that's nice because that typically is the fix, but if you're relatively new to development, especially to the terminal and the command line system, then that might be kind of confusing. You may not know where exactly to find that. And so that's what I want to show you in this guide. And then we can run this entire gem command. So if you switch over to the terminal and then you go into your applications directory. So I'm going to say this, I'm going to start off by saying ls so I can list off all the files and then a slash and then applications. And then if you, this is the way that you would find this if you have Postgres installed with the Postgres app. So that's this app here, Postgres app. This is what I have installed on my own system. If you have it installed with say uh, something else like brew, then you're going to have a different path to this. And uh, so that's just something to kind of keep in mind. If you're curious on where Postgres is installed, you can run this command. This is one of the most helpful ones is say which Postgres. And then right here, it actually gives you your entire path. So this is exactly what we're looking for. And this will work whether you have Postgres installed or you have installed with Brew or anything else. So I'm just going to copy that whole path. And I can say ls and then paste that in. And then right here, I actually want to only have it have the bin directory you can see this prints out this full list of all of the files inside of the bin directory. Now you may also notice right here is our PG config file. So this is exactly what we're looking for. So now if you go into your system, I'm going to scroll up here. Now you can run gem install PG and then you can say dash dash with dash pg config and then set that equal to that path. So I'm going to just paste in what I put in before, but instead of Postgres, I'm going to say bin pg underscore config, just like this. And now I can run it, and then this is going to install the Postgres gem. So it says, oh, and actually, you know what? One little fix. It's gem install pg dash dash a space and then two dashes with pg config. Now you can run that and there you go. And that, like it said, it might take a little while, but now what this is doing is it's just adding a very specific configuration file to the installation process. So now we're saying, hey, when you're installing Postgres, make sure you're pointing to the right version of Postgres and you're running it with its configuration options. And as you can see, that all worked. So I'll put in the show notes this exact call right here. But the main things to remember is that to find where Postgres is installed, the command to type is which Postgres that's going to show you where it's installed. And then that PG config file is in the bin directory. And that's what you pass in. So hopefully that helps you fix the error and you're able to move on to installing the rest of your system and getting on with your development.